Okay guys, we are removing a inverted fifth wheel. This was mounted on a gooseneck frame. And what we're doing for a 1975 trailer that this mounts on is we're placing a regular hitch or a box hitch or whatever you want to call it, um, two and five sixteenths on it so that the truck that it goes on is a gooseneck. Now, I just want to give you all a little update for Mr. B down there in Texas who wants one made. This is what it's going to look like when you get yours made. This allows you an additional uh, point to point of about six inches back from the center of your truck, but still puts the full load here. And you see we're doing full counter bracing on the whole thing. I'll show you the last picture when we get done with it, okay? All right, well, there we go. That is converting a shitty inverted fifth wheel where the fifth wheel part was here into a gooseneck with additional bracing and other jazz. Uh, very old steel, 75 model, what would that be? 40 years old? <laughs> 40 year old steel and turning it into a gooseneck. All right, folks, we're out here now at the RV and it has been dragged back out here and there's the hitch installed and you can see in the previous pictures what it looked like i didn't get the opportunity to go out there and film that so they brought it to me and now you can see my handiwork of how to make a hitch on an existing so what this had was this had what normally would go in the truck which is the fifth wheel part and then they had the pin the big pin would go in the truck bed, kind of like a gooseneck ball does. And that has been, and that's so old that no one does it anymore. And this was done for what purposes, I'm not sure, but we have cut it away. And now that is the hitch that is bolted back on. And now we've just got to do some wiring and you'll see this old RV here. This is what it goes on. So, got some work to be done to it he brought it out here to my place to salvage parts and do some work on it and we built the hitch for him so pretty good a little rough on my welding i was in a hurry but uh there it is 10k hitch on a 6400 pound rv so it needs some help you can do that yourself just pieces of pipe flat metal make sure you go no less than 10k on that uh on that hitch there and for if you're wondering whether or not this is physically strong enough now you just got to remember that for a going on a regular trailer it's just going to be welded here and right here going on a you know a regular a-frame trailer so this coupler that was put on here is fully welded across here fully welded here it's got metal inside over here and it's got plated across so strength wise uh, i would put this in the 12 to 13k rating if this part and the cap right here was any stronger so we're still going to call it a 10,000 pound capacity um, it has a full 16,000 breakaway so let's go over here so it's 16,000 breakaway on it so i think we are quite strong there's a uh, you know solid build on it with a lot of heavy welds on it and this uh, this here ended up being one and seven eighths inches, almost two inches above the truck bed because the ball come has a inch and a half collar on it and two and five sixteenths ball, and it rode perfect. I mean, at all angles, even going down through ditches and stuff, they come out perfect with it. If anybody thinks that that is not an effective outcome of a hitch, here look, I'll show you one that's been built in the sixties. All right, so back in the 1960s, and I think 1961 or two, this thing was built for this trailer that's sitting here. So it's actually built by Pilot Industries in Utah, and when and they they started out with uh, horse trailer frames. So they they had a regular agricultural frame, and then they built fifth wheels on it. So now in this case, it uses what they had available at the time for a hitch, and not not the best in the world strength wise because i mean the metal here isn't nowhere near as thick as the one you just seen that i just walked away from and it's just got a little bit of quarter plate running up 
a lot smaller tube and it too is a 6,000 pound trailer. So um, the way this is designed, now this right here, people would think makes it a stronger trailer. No, that's actually how it's, how it's latch works. <laughs> so that's all it is. And just like the regular build, it's just welded on right here. I mean, that's most of its weld. And my case, what I just built on that other one, it is a lot stronger and can handle the weight a lot better with the same outcome. All right, so there y'all see that. There it is. That's an easy way to make a gooseneck. And what it does is actually gives you a little more room from the back of your vehicle, back of your truck window in your bed, but still puts the weight right there, right where it should be over your axle. All right, there you go, guys. Options, think about them.